In this video I'm showing how I installed a Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch, part number 13118 on a 2016 Ford F-150. I ordered this from Amazon for just over $120. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. The first step was to remove the spare tire. To do that I used the tire change tools that are tucked in behind the rear passenger seat. I removed the spare tire lock and then I put together the tire change tools. If you haven't lowered the spare before on this truck, you'll want to use the open square end of the tire change tool. This is one of those angle of the dangle type concepts, but you should feel it grab on and then you can lower the spare. And once it's on the ground, you can remove the mount so that you can get it out of the way. So I unboxed everything and got all the components laid out. It came with the hitch itself, the directions, four fish wires, four carriage bolts, four nuts, six of these block spacers, and two of these U-shaped spacers as well as a replacement screw for the ground wire. And speaking of the ground wire, the next step is to remove the bolt for that and tuck it up out of the way for now. The mounting points that we're going to use are these two holes on the passenger side and these two holes on the driver's side. I took one of these U-shaped spacers and taped it in place on the passenger side. And then repeated the step on the driver's side. Then I took the fish wire and I started it in the larger hole and fed it through the frame to the hole where we taped the U-spacer. Then I looped on one of the spacer blocks and I threaded one of the carriage bolts onto the fish wire. Once that's done you can pop everything into that hole in the frame and use the fish wire to pull it through so that it pops out at the rear hole where we taped the U-spacer. Then I just repeat these same steps for this hole as well. And now over on the driver's side, these steps are exactly mirrored. The only difference being that the wiring harness is on this side, and it kind of obstructs access to the larger hole, but mine had enough slack in it that I could work around it. So I got the carriage bolts and spacer blocks fished through the frame so that they're staged and in place and ready to go in the mounting points. Different camera angle here. I put one of the square spacer blocks on the carriage bolt on the driver's side and on the passenger side as well. The next step is to lift the hitch in place so that it rests on the carriage bolts. To do that you have to pop each bolt back into the frame and then feed the fish wire through the corresponding hole in the hitch so that you can pull it into place. I had the big brain idea of attempting this during the coronavirus panic and I didn't want to ask anybody to come snuggle with me underneath of the truck to help hold this in place. So I had to resort to a lot of really weird maneuvers here. All I can say is thank god for that goat yoga class. But all strange millennial pastimes aside, get help if you can because it sucks doing this on your own. Once you have the hitch resting on the four carriage bolts, you can start removing the fish wire and threading on the flange nuts. Having this part done was a huge sigh of relief because the most difficult part was definitely behind me at this point. To reattach the ground, I found that the existing ground wire was too short. I had to pop the push pin out so that I could get some extra slack, and then I was able to use the provided replacement ground bolt to reattach it. It was at this point that I got to the step in the directions that said I needed to tighten the carriage bolts down to 210 foot-pounds. And as I'm standing here looking at my Fisher Price socket set, I'm realizing I ain't got no torque wrench in my box of Crayolas. So I did the best I could with a crescent wrench for the time being. I had no immediate plans to tow anything, so I really just needed this thing to stay attached until I could get the tools. I'm lazy, so in the meanwhile I just left the spare off. But a month or so later, I got a new toy from Home Depot. I set it to 210 foot-pounds. First time torque wrenching, but sweet jeebless is this stripping a chitlin or what? After the first one it did seem to get a little bit easier, so I suspect there was some sort of Pavlovian conditioning happening with that click sound. At this point the trailer hitch install was complete. I had to relower the tractor beam for the spare tire. I put the mount through the center of the spare and then hoisted the tire back up to the underbelly. And finally I tossed the tire change tools back where I found them. That's pretty much all there is for this video. I guess I was lying earlier when I said that the hard part was behind me because it appears that the hard part is finding money to buy something to tow. Anyhow, hit like if this was helpful, and thanks for watching.